Thanks for checking out this video on the Super Deaker clone. This is the second video in a series that I created that will break down how I built this stick handling trainer. This particular video is going to break down the physical components if you're interested in seeing how the electronics work or the coding or some more gameplay, please check out the other videos in this playlist. So the main physical play area is broken down into three main components. You have the rings that the bungee cables attach to. Next is the main play surface, which the puck slides on. And lastly, the frame. Let's get rid of the rings and take a look at the play surface. The play surface is made out of laminate flooring and the main dimensions are 72 inches long and 30 inches wide. I just used the natural length of the laminate boards and the long ones were 48 inches long and five inches wide and the small ones were 24 inches long and five inches wide. In the four corners, that's where the holes were drilled for the rings. There are eight holes that are drilled in this particular pattern for the LEDs to shine through. Right next to those are where the sensors are placed. We'll look at the wiring and layout for the electronics in another video. And now onto the frame. So the frame is made out of two by fours. The bottom part of the frame is 72 inches long. Along the top of the frame, there are two 35 inch long two by fours and a two inch gap in between. That gap is there so that you can run the wires for the sensors and LEDs out to the control box. The boards across the middle are all 23 inches long. There was a small one and a half inch wide gap that was taken out of the middle boards in order to run wires to all the different sensors and LEDs. And then the depth of that hole was only three quarters of an inch. That's all for this video on the physical build. If you'd like even more information on how this was all put together, please check out the GitLab link below. I have a link to a PDF that's there that explains everything in more detail. Check out the other videos if you want to learn more about the electronics and the programming that went into making this all happen. If you like this video and you're interested in some of the other stuff that I'm working on, please check out the other videos on my channel. Thanks again.